Welcome to this short video about new utility for fixing a failure when running history reports in Control-M. This failure can occur for Control-M environments upgraded from version older than 9.0.20. Let's go over the agenda of this video. First, we will review the technical bulletin announcing this utility. Second, we will discuss the criteria whether it's necessary to install and run this utility in your environment. Third, we will review the installation and solution implemented by this utility as documented in KA00043485. And finally, we will step into the practical side with a demo, illustrating the required actions to install the utility and to run it Let's go over key points in this announcement. First, this announcement supersedes previous flash bulletin that came out January 5th. Two issues were identified caused by the same problem, CTM 12251. The first issue is reports that use historic data about job run, such as workflow distribution, extreme peak usage, trend analysis, and job execution failed with error, unexpected end of JSON input. Second issue, if you have usage alerts configured to warn you about nearing or exceeding your license task limits, you will receive daily alerts incorrectly stating that you have exceeded the permitted task limits. These inaccurate alerts began generating on January 2nd, 2025. The root cause of this problem is that historic data that uses date indexing instead of date timestamps lack the indexes for the year 2025. This occurs only if your environment was upgraded from either release 900, 9018, or 9019. In these two issues, historic run information for history reports was not retained because the date indexes were missing. With regards to usage alerts that uses its own set of historic data, because of missing date indexes, it improperly calculated the usage counts. If your environment matches these criteria, then we recommend you install this utility as soon as possible. How to determine if you need to install and run this utility in your environment? In the EM home directory, there is a text file named installedversions.txt. Use your favorite editor or shell command to view the content of the file. If you see any of these EM versions listed in the file, indicating that they were previously installed and running in your environment, then you must download the utility from the KA, install and run it as soon as possible. Until this issue is fixed, job run data for historic reports for all the days in year 2025 will not be saved. However, usage measurement data with bad date indexes is saved but is incorrectly calculated. Once the utility is executed, historic data for usage measurement will be corrected. Instructions for installing this utility. First, download the package found in the attachment of this KA. Log into your EM server account on the primary EM if you have an HA installed. Create a temporary directory. Transfer the package to the temporary directory and unzip all the files. This utility is written in Python. The code is common and shared for both Unix and Windows platforms. Run the history report patch installer and provide the DBO password when prompted. The DBO password is the password you created when the EM was first installed. This is the same password that you use when running any of the admin utilities, such as root menu, backup and restore. This utility installs a new copy of date index.ini file, which contains the date indexes until the year 2049. This file is located in the database templates folder. 
The utility loads the new NI file into the database and populates the missing data in the date index table. Then it corrects all the usage measurement data that uses date indexes. If you have HA or distributed environment, therefore you also have only one database. And when running on the primary EM, the data gets populated in the database and is visible by all EM instances. But the INI file itself will not be synced to the other environments. And now we'll go into a short demo. The technical bulletin that you received describes the problem in these two items and in the bottom under the solution and provides a link to an article that contains the instructions for installing. Before we go down and follow the instructions, let's verify if you are required to install this utility. Here I have a EM environment and in the home directory, we'll take a look at the install versions file. As you can see, if there is an EM, which starts with DRNFT, lower than 9020, then we require to install the patch. And here you can see that there is a 19. Okay, and now let's go back to the instructions. So instruction number two states, download the attachment and unzip the history report underscore patch that zip file in the temporary directory. Okay, here's the attachment. Clicking on that will download it. Here is the attachment. I will transfer it over to the Enterprise Manager machine using FTP. Here is the file that was transferred previously, and we will extract that file, unzip, a new folder there. Okay, let's just go back to the instructions. Run the utility on Unix. Provide the DBO, or the EM user password. And confirm. It's copying the date index.ini file over to a uh, templates. These are this is the data that will cover a period up to 2049, and then it will insert the data into the database and try to recover the net report data. If you try to run this again. It will check everything and see that everything is in good order and will not install it. This utility needs to run only on the primary. However, if you have a secondary in HA configuration, then this file was not backed up, though the database now was properly updated. Now let's go back to the instructions. Okay, and we follow on screen instruction, restarting EM gateway, and we're all done. I'm going to skip the other two steps. One last thing I want to mention is if you applied the workaround that was provided in the original Flash, you still need to download this utility and execute it in your environment. There were additional recovery functionality included after the workaround was released. The, this utility will first validate prior to executing any changes. Okay, thank you very much for watching.